From the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City, this is a Cable Motors OU update with Travis Haney. I'm Jenny Carlson. Travis, BCS rankings are out, Sooners are up, but maybe not as high as some people thought. Dissect these rankings a little bit for us. No, it kind of went the way that we thought. If Oregon defeated Stanford and the Ducks were really impressive in that game at Stanford, so they jump up to fourth, OU up from sixth to fifth, so at least the Sooners continue to move in the right direction without even the benefit of a game this past weekend. They were off. So heading into this Baylor game, Baylor still in the top 25 in the BCS despite having to win an overtime in Kansas. Kind of a strange game there, but it helps the Sooners to keep the Bears in that top 25. So it's another semi-quality win. Kansas State wins in four overtimes to stay at 13. Another helpful thing for the Sooners in the BCS. So a lot of things are kind of lining up. But the question is, will OU need help to get back into that top two? And Bedlam aside, they obviously have to win that game. But could they get in there? Oregon is a suitor, a one-loss team, if they continue to win. Alabama, a lot of people talking about the rematch. Those are the two that the, everybody's kind of figuring out. What would it take in this formula for OU to get back to one or two? Well, let's say that, that Oklahoma does win out. Right, do the computers maybe vault into that number two spot, or is it going to have to be the voters that get them there? Yeah, well, I suspect it would have to be both, and the question is probably more on the voters since that's two-thirds of the formula. The computers would probably favor OU at that point because of how much they like OSU and have liked OSU all along. I think that win would put them ahead probably in the computers, but the voters, what are they thinking? Are they anti-rematch because Oregon LSU played in the opener, Alabama LSU played recently, does that then put OU back in the mix? That's the question right now. A lot of things can happen in the next three to four weeks. All right. Thanks, Travis. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.